Welcome to Entrepreneurship 241, the entrepreneurial experience here at Ball State University, the intro class uh, for the entrepreneurship program. Uh, my name is Rob Matthews and I'll be leading this course and uh, I have taught I think over the years probably over 30 or 40 sections of this course. It's my favorite course in, in the whole program. Uh, I love the, the newness of it and the exploration and so I hope you enjoy it too. Uh, I was in the Ball State Entrepreneurship Center for about 18 years as a faculty member and also as an administrator. I have a great affection for that program. Um, I'm currently uh, in the Institute for Entrepreneurship and Free Enterprise and um, do a lot of training, a lot of leadership training, a lot of creativity training, innovation, problem solving, those kinds of things. I uh, also uh, a bit of a serial entrepreneur myself for the last probably, gosh, dating back to high school, so a good 25 years, I've always had some kind of venture of my own, whether it was online or retail or business to business or whatever. I've, I've done a variety of things, so I, I do speak from experience um, in the course, and I build the course with that experience too. Um, one thing that I think is important to note right out of the gates is that my belief is that entrepreneurship is behaviorally driven. I think it's a behavior. Uh, and, and so the context of this course and the course content, I want you to think not just about starting a business, uh, but also think about it in terms of behavior. And specifically, I, I really believe that entrepreneurship can be uh, social ventures, nonprofits. It can be how you interact in your community, how you behave in your church, how you behave in your community groups, um, your volunteer work, whatever it is, you can be entrepreneurial in that work. Uh, you can also work in a, in a startup and have a role in that so you can play a part. And I think as we move through the course content, particularly with the textbook we're using, and I use the word textbook very loosely, um, because it's a very practical book, you'll see that, uh, that you could play a role in any kind of entrepreneurial venture. Uh, corporate entrepreneurship, so you can be an entrepreneur in a big organization, you, you can be a small business owner, you can be a franchisee, there's all kinds of avenues to be um, entrepreneurial. So I think that's uh, just something that is my perspective and it's how I lead these types of courses, so I think it's important to know that. Um, up front, I want to say one thing that's very important to me, um, make that two things. The first thing though that's really important to me is due dates and due times are really important to me. So my expectation is you will meet those. If you have some extremely um, challenging circumstances, let me know, but otherwise I, my expectation is that you will meet those deadlines and I don't really offer late turn-ins. So that's just something to know up front. The other thing that I want you to know is that there, are, there will be sufficient course materials out there between Canvas and the syllabus and the course schedule. Um, I want you to refer to those first before you ask questions. I don't mind questions, I encourage questions, but please check those materials first and if you're still confused or don't think you have the answer you need, feel free to reach out and, and we'll make sure you're taken care of. The course, um, I'm making some changes to it um, this year and I'm really excited about those changes. I'll be using uh, Gallup's Born to Build brand new book hot off the press um, as the textbook and again I use the word textbook lightly because um, it's, it's a very practical practitioner based book. Gallup is an incredible company with a lot of research um, and, and just common sense behind what they write. Really excited about this. I've read through this book and really dissected it as you might be able to tell by the tabs. Um, and there's a lot of notes in there. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think you will like it. Um, the course is based on the book. Um, this is not a textbook per se. It's a very easy read. It's about a hundred pages of actual content. Um, and then there's about another 30 pages uh, that talk about entrepreneurial talent. So there's only about 130 pages. Uh, so it's not a heavy read at all. 
you really need to read this book as we move along the semester. It's really important. Um, the because uh, it really is the foundation for the course. Um, the course will be divided into six modules. You'll have readings every week from the book, usually about 20 pages, roughly. Um, some things that you'll see in every module, and then I'll get into the individual modules in a minute. Uh, things that you'll see in every module, there will be discussion board um, pieces where you'll make an initial post and respond, and two response posts to the readings in Born to Build. There will also be what I call some contemporary pieces. These will just be very short video clips or like one to two page case studies um, that you'll, you'll do discussions on those as well. So you do one initial post, two response posts. Uh, really, really simple, but I want you to engage with your classmates and learn from their perspectives and their take on the material. And, and the pieces are meant to be practical and, and things in the real world that you could relate to. And there's some pretty neat pieces in there that I think you'll find interesting. Uh, finally, in each module or each unit, there's a quiz. Uh, roughly 15 questions at four points a piece for 60 points on a quiz. That, that could vary, um, but that's the plan right now. Um, quizzes will be given during a certain time frame Another thing that's really important to me is that you kind of have it all together for these quizzes, which means you eliminate distractions. You make sure you have a good power supply if you have a laptop or whatever, and that you're ready to take this and, and that you don't have other windows open on your computer that are going to be distractions and maybe you accidentally close the quiz. Because I really don't offer restarts on quizzes for, for kind of obvious reasons. The good news is with six quizzes for six modules, I do drop the lowest score. So you can really use that to your advantage. Um, if you miss a quiz for some reason, that would count as your drop, just so you know. Uh, some other graded um, assignments that we'll briefly run through here. In module one, you will do a student introduction post in the discussion boards and then you'll respond to your classmates. Uh, in Module 2, from the Born to Build book, there is, uh, and this is a really cool feature of this book, and very typical of Gallup, there's an assessment that uh, is included with the purchase of a new copy of this book. Now this book just came out, so I don't think any of you will have used copies. So you literally just go to the back and you cut open this red envelope and it'll send you to a website and you enter the code to take the Builder Profile 10 or BP10 assessment. And this assessment, I won't get into it a lot right now, but it, it measures basically your entrepreneurial and builder talents. And there's 10 talents that everyone has and it rank orders them. And Gallup suggests focusing on your top four. I, I tend to say focus on like your top three. Um, the nice thing is when you, when you create an account and you use this code and you take the assessment, you will also have access to uh, Gallup's website with a lot of, of uh, reference and resource uh, materials, which is really nice. Um, Gallup does an incredible job with this. Uh, they have a lot of data behind the, and research behind this assessment. Um, about a good 15 years of, of research and over 100,000 people have already taken this assessment, so, they, so it has a lot of meat to it. And uh, that's exciting because you, you can feel good about the results and the, the, the assessment is very well written um, as to get, get true good results of, of how um, kind of your entrepreneurial talents, and when we say talents, we mean psychological talents. So what gets you revved up, what kind of work gets you excited, and when are you at your best? And that's that's really cool stuff. And it's it's not the typical way that people tend to look at performance and specifically entrepreneurship. So that's really unique and it's exciting. And it's you know you're you're one of the first classes in the country to go through this. So that's exciting. Um, in module three, I'll introduce. Oh, and let me back up a little bit on Builder Profile Ten. So the assignment will be to post your report like in PDF form to post a reflection of how, you know, what you thought about your findings 
and then there will be two response posts in the discussion boards also. So that's kind of how that will work and that's how the rest of these will work as well. Um, in module three, um, you will be exposed to and have the opportunity to take the Bassiter Innovation and Problem Solving Profile. And the good news is we have a site license here at Ball State for this assessment that's about $35, so it'll be free to you. So that's always good news, right? Um, this assessment is pretty unique in the field in that it measures your functional work preferences and your creative styles. Like how do you like to go about problem solving, innovation, creativity? So again, you will post the PDF of your report a reflection on the results, personal reflection, and then respond to two of your classmates posts. And so you get to see the different perspectives and they're very different, very different. And I'll also post a, a lecture video on this. Um, so that's that's the Bassiter Innovation and Problem Solving Profile. Um, module four, I will introduce you to a tool called Business Model Canvas. It's a lean startup tool uh, visual tool uh, that comes from the business model generation book. Uh, the assignment will be to fill out the canvas on a business idea that you have to provide a 250 word description of that business idea and also to provide a, a 60 to 90 second video pitch of that idea. So that's that's in module 4 business model canvas that, that is that assignment. Um, in Module 5 or 6, we're, we're still working on the website, so uh, we'll see if we have it done or not. If not, we'll do the paper um, version of, of this next assessment. But this is a, an assessment that's pretty special to me because uh, Dr. Mike Goldsby and, and I actually designed this assessment, and it's called the Entrepreneurial Leadership Instrument. And it measures just what it sounds like. It measures your entrepreneurial leadership style like what style in an entrepreneurial project or venture or business or corporate venture, what is your, your style for leading that type of a venture or project? And um, we, we uh, also, that is launching in our new book that will, is, is actually premiering in November called Entrepreneurship the Disney Way. So we're pretty excited about that and uh, we, we definitely want your feedback on that instrument and uh, the results. So much like the, the others, um, you will do a PDF or a photo of your report, uh, a reflection on the results, and you will respond to two of your classmates in the discussion board on their results. Um, in module six then, you will do a post-course reflection in the discussion board. No responses to classmates in that one. Um, I view this as very important and I think it's something in education that we miss almost very close to 100% of the time. Um, post course, post learning reflections are very important because you need to close the loop on learning. And so that is critical for uh, your um, learning to kind of say, yeah, I actually did learn this stuff and I got a lot out of it. Um, one thing I want, to I want to remind you on the quizzes and mention is that the quizzes will be on the, the Born to Build book, the, the Born to Build Talents, the Builder Profile 10 Talents, BP10, and also on supplemental videos uh, lecture videos of content that I see as really important to uh, entrepreneurship and small business. So you'll notice those in Canvas, it'll flow pretty easily. Uh, just to close, I'm really excited about this course and with uh, Born to Build as the foundation for it. And I really look forward to your interactions on the discussion boards and uh, your thoughts on the content. Send me emails and let me know what you think. And if you're excited about something or if you're confused, send me emails, let me know, I wanna hear it. So uh, looking forward to working with you and uh, best wishes.